All right, turning to other news and lighter news, new at five, a night to honor high school students' artwork. Columbia Basin College is hosting its 51st annual regional high school art exhibit right now. And that's where we find Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma live from CBC with more. Hey, Monique. Hi, Austin. Yes, the event hasn't started quite yet. Not till 5.30 p.m. tonight. But first, let me move out of the way so you can get a little preview and a glimpse of the artwork that's being showcased tonight. So the artwork being represented is from 15 different high schools across nine school districts that this year's ex exhibit consists of 278 art pieces of students artwork from those pieces the jury show will recognize 15 judge choices 10 honorable mentions and 10 superintendent choices awards also central washington university will continue its tradition of awarding selected students with a scholarship Coming up later tonight at 6, I'll have more information for you guys here. Reporting live in Pasco, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you for staying with us. New tonight and only from Apple Valley News Now, Columbia Basin College right now is hosting its 51st annual regional high school art exhibit. And that's where we find our Monique Ledesma live at CBC with more. Hi, Monique. <laughs> Hi, Austin. Yes, the award show just wrapped up. As you can see, everyone is enjoying the artwork being on display. And I'm joined with Erica, who is a Central Washington University scholarship recipient for her piece of artwork. Erica, can you tell me a little bit about your artwork here? Um, I made this realistic uh, copper metal heart pin. It can clasp onto fabric and stuff. I. I'm super proud of it because all these little tiny wires were soldered on individually and were very finicky. Yeah. And to you, what does it mean to have been awarded the scholarship? Uh, I'm just really proud that like I get to have proof that like my work is valuable and it like is a way for me to represent that I have entered art shows and I've worked towards being able to make my art. And you're wearing earrings that I believe you made yourself? Yes, I just finished these in my medals and joy class, which is where I made this too. Okay, nice. Well, thank you for thank allowing you. me to interview and congratulations. Thank you. All right, I'll have more information for you guys later tonight. Reporting live in Pasco, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. Good news, Columbia Basin College is hosting its 51st annual regional high school art exhibit right now. And that is where we find Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma live at CBC with one more report for us. Hi, Monique. Earlier we spoke and the event was live, it's hype. And right now it's starting to, starting to mellow down, but our workers are still celebrating thy fruit of thy labor. I'm here with Reese, and now tell me, how did you feel when you won the Judges' Choice Award? I felt really good. It was really surprising and honestly very inspirational. This is my first time competing in this art competition and it was a really nice surprise. Well, for it being your first time, you put together a table with the 3D artwork. I can't even build a shelf to save my life. Tell me, how did you stay motivated in your thought process? Well, when I originally found this piece of wood, my woodshop teacher said, if you can do a deep pour table, you can have the piece of wood. And so I decided that as this being my first deep pour table, I was going to make it a ocean scene and make it inspirational to others and yeah. all right well thank you so much for allowing me to interview reporting live here at cbc in pasco monique ledesma apple valley news now austin